not that there was additional uh, information uh, that came uh, forward to me that had nothing to do with Russia, but has everything to do with whether or not Americans were masked properly or, in fact, unmasked. And I'm very concerned. I'm sure that the Democrats do want me to quit uh, because uh, they know that I'm uh, quite effective at getting to the bottom of, of things. Uh, this is uh, Catch and Fire. House Intel Committee Chair David Nunes under fire from Democrats, and some say he should step aside altogether in any matters relating to Russia. Uh, the issue is this. Nunes went to the White House grounds about a week ago to look at intelligence evidence, and what that is, we don't know. But Marie Har, former State Department spokeswoman, Fox News contributed with me now to D.C. Marie, good morning to you. And, um, good morning, Bill. You jumping on the bandwagon to get him out of the way, <laughs> or what? I think that Chairman Nunez in the past week has shown himself incapable of running a credible, incapable. independent investigation. Yes, I do. On I do. An investigation on what, however? Well, here's the problem, Bill, that I actually was pretty heartened by the uh, hearing that he and Adam Schiff held just a week and a half ago. That seems like decades ago now. Uh, but, but the problem is the Republicans have asked for the question of how people are unmasked in intelligence reports and how things are leaked to be part of that Russia investigation. So they're all one big investigation now. And instead of sharing information that he learned with his fellow committee members, he went, information that he got from the White House, he then made a big public show the next day of going back he, to the White House already, to brief them. He's already clarified a lot of that already. Number one, he said the evidence he looked at had nothing to do with Russia. He told O'Reilly that last night. The other thing he said is they have to go to the executive branch one or two times a week to look at intelligence because they can't get the documents up to the House. What's well, wrong with that? I there is a secure room that the House Intel Committee has at, at Congress, so I'm not actually sure why he couldn't read them there. Well, that's what, but, listen, that's what he said. Unless I, you're calling I him know. a liar, that's what not. he said. But what I'm saying is, first of all, he has provided zero evidence beyond his statements to back up the accusations that people are now making off of what he said. But the bigger problem is the issue of unmasking and how the intelligence community deals when American citizens are picked up incidentally as part of collection is actually a part of the House Intelligence Committee's larger Russia investigation. So, in, and you know, John McCain was on TV this morning saying he's never heard of a situation where a committee chairman has gone to the White House, which is the subject of an ongoing investigation, several ongoing well, investigations, it, it's not and not gone than, to his uh, fellow committee members. Yeah, I got it. He, just to be clear, he didn't go to the White House physically. He was not in the West Wing. He did not meet with the president. These are important distinctions. David well, Nunes has a about... track record and a reputation <laughs> of respect. I'm talking about the next day. So he went to the White House grounds, and they don't just let anyone on the White House grounds, right? He went to the White House grounds. He met with someone who has access to White House computers, and then the next day made a big public show of going back to the White House to brief the president okay. instead so of briefing I, his fellow I, I committee members, I, I which is calling his credibility into can, serious question. I got it. Well, let's just make one point here. <laughs> We can concede that since no other Republicans or Democrats have seen the evidence, perhaps it would enlighten the story and the situation would allow them to see exactly what he saw. I grant you that. Absolutely. In the meantime, Trey Gowdy said the following last night. Watch here. I wish Senator Schumer and some of the other Democrats would be more interested in the authenticity and the reliability of the underlying data and not the means by which it was acquired. Whether it's the White House or Waffle House, what difference does it make if the information is reliable and authentic? Yeah, what difference at this point <laughs> does it make, Murray? Well, I care about the underlying evidence, which is why it's so disturbing that Chairman Nunez hasn't shared that with anyone else on his committee. He has only seen it himself and now shared it with the president. We do have a lot of questions, and those need to be answered, and they need to be answered in an independent investigation. You know, Trey Gowdy led the effort to get a, a select committee on Benghazi. I think Americans can agree that Russian interference in this election cycle is as serious as we've had any other issue investigated by Congress. Congress. And, and Chairman Nunez well, has, maybe the way has to made himself this. incapable of leading this investigation. I got it. Then let's take Adam Schiff down to the White House grounds. Not the White House, but the White House grounds and look at the same evidence. And um, we'll pass the Waffle House. Marie Harf, thank you for coming in today. Scattered, smothered, and covered. We'll talk to you real soon, okay? 20 Thanks, minutes Phil. past.